and Sarah to draw a pool. Yeah, it's going to be really fun. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers, but you could use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yes. You ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw the diving board for a pool. Let's draw a line, a short diagonal line. We're going to draw over here on the right side so that we have room for the rest of the pool over here. Then we're going to draw two longer diagonal lines coming out this way over the pool. And then we can draw a line straight across or, or diagonal to connect those two lines. Okay, let's make the diving board thicker. We're going to draw two shorter lines down on each side. We're going to make our diving board look more 3D. Let's draw another line over here. It looks like a little table. Yeah. <laughs> then we can connect the side of the diving board and also the front. Nice. Now let's draw the pool and we're going to draw it curving around. I'm going to start right here and we're going to draw a curve that comes out like this around and I'm going to maybe stop right there. Actually, let's keep going. We're going to curve around like this. I'm going to come over to this side. We're going to draw a really cool shape pool and curve up and look, it kind of looks like it's connecting over here behind the board. Round. Oh, I love the shape of your pool. Okay, let's draw another curve around it that kind of matches. I'm going to turn my paper sideways, makes it a little easier. I'm going to curve around like this, and we're going to keep going. We're going to match that same curve all the way around. Oh, I'm going to come back over here and draw this side too. And then curve around and then connect. Sometimes I like turning my paper sideways to draw a line. Sometimes that makes it a little easier to draw. You did it. Now let's make our pool look more 3D, like the water's inside of it. So we're gonna start here and I'm gonna draw another curve, but this one's a little different. When we come over to the side right here, I'm gonna curve in and taper to a point. Okay. Yes, you did it. Okay, now on this side, this is going to be a little different on this side too. We're going to come this way. Watch this. I'm going to taper. Oh, because we have a little bump right here. And then maybe come out a little more and then back in. And you could do the same thing. We'll start here, curve around, and then taper right here. And then come down here and do another one that tapers into there. Taper means come to a point. Yeah, there you go. And then another one. You did it. Look at that. We've got our pool. Oh, we could also draw little lines around our pool. So it looks like maybe, maybe these are bricks or little concrete squares that go around our pool for a little extra detail. What else is our pool missing? A slide. A water slide. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to start up here and draw a little S curve that comes down and then, oh, it'll stop right about here and leave a little space. So we can, yeah, start up like maybe here and curve down like that. Then let's draw the ladder part that comes up the back. And let's draw another line that matches that line and we'll come down and match the slide line too. And then right at the end, we can connect those on both sides. Then let's draw the top of the slide. We'll draw a line here and also the bottom of the slide, a line down here that matches. And then we can draw two more S curves that match the first one that we did. We're going to draw them right next to each other. Mine is a steep slide. I like it. Yeah, the steeper the better. And then we're going to connect the top and the bottom. And then let's also draw two more lines coming down for the other side of the ladder. And we're going to make it a little shorter. Oh, yeah. Okay. That works too. No, I like it. And then we'll connect them the bottom. And then let's draw the steps for the ladder going up. So there's one step another step, and then maybe one at the very top. 
That's an awesome water slide. What else should we add to our pool? A donut floaty. Oh, let's do it. Let's draw a, we could draw a curve like this. Kind of looks like a U shape. Oh, let's just, we'll keep it simple. Let's just draw the whole thing like that, an oval. And then let's draw the outside coming around and then connecting to the other side. And then to make it look more 3D, let's draw a, another upside down U here and another one over here. And then let's draw another curve here and another curve here. So we drew it one way and then the other way. And then we can do the same thing up here. I'm gonna draw them going the other direction. Yes, look at that, that looks really cool. Now let's also add a beach ball floating in our pool. And we could draw another circle that's smaller inside. And then let's draw a curve there and a curve underneath. And let's draw another curve on the side here and one going the other way. <laughs> I love our little pool. It's looking really awesome. Let's draw the background. Let's add a line right here at the back of our pool. And I'm going to imagine that going behind the slide and coming out on the other side. Let's add some plants around our pool. I'm going to draw a little bumpy cloud line for some bushes and maybe another one over here too. Let's add an umbrella right here. I'm going to draw a line coming down. And then we can draw a, another bumpy line across that line coming down. We can connect it. And then let's draw the top of the umbrella coming up and down on the right side. And then we can divide up the umbrella and draw little curves. This makes it look more 3D. We could also color it different colors. Oh, good job. I love your umbrella. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing our swimming pool, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video if you want to match our same coloring, or... You can color it any way you want. Yeah, you ready to fast forward? Yeah. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our swimming pool. It turned out so cool, all colored in. Yeah, it looks so much better colored in. I think so too. I hope our, our friends will color their drawings. You could also even add extra details to your pool. I added little flip-flops or sandals, a towel, maybe some sunscreen and a few drinks. But I think our art friends should add people though. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the only thing our drawing's missing, our kids jumping off the diving board and going down the slide. Yeah. We hope you have a lot of fun drawing your swimming pool. We do, and we hope you take extra time to add more things to your drawing. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.